hello friends my name is Gishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the two inbuilt annotation in Java first is the uh, add deprecated and second is uh, add suppress warnings right so here I have already created a project uh, Java inbuilt annotations example and here let me show you first we have a one class is called addition and here you can see uh, there are two some method overloaded method right first method which takes two integer adds these two integer integer and returns the sum second integer second sum method which takes a uh, uh, var args means you can pass zero and many parameters to this method and that will return you to the sum so suppose uh, do you think is this method is required at all right the job which is done by this method already can be done by this method so suppose let's suppose suppose a vendor has decided to deprecate this method right suppose a api maker has decided to deprecate this method in that case uh, you can use a add deprecated annotation and uh, this add deprecated annotation you can see this is a marker uh, annotation there is no any method inside this and and this uh, apply at runtime right so when jvm comes into the picture then that will uh, 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 enforce this annotation and this annotation can be applied on the before the constructor fill local variable method package parameter or type when i say type type means that can be applied before a class interface or enum before the enum as well right so that's all about this uh, annotation now once you see add deprecated then this method has been striked out and uh, suppose if uh, some client is calling this method then compiler is uh, showing saying that it's striked out saying and you can see compiler has showing some uh, warning message right compilation number it's not an error still you can run this program but that is uh, compiler is showing you some warning saying that this method has been already deprecated why not uh, you you don't use this method there is possibility next version we are going to remove it so use the alternative one right so here of course we can use alternative one this one which uh, can uh, be uh, done what we are doing over here right this is also calculating the sum of two numbers right so that's all about the add deprecated annotation right now second annotation we have a, a suppress warning here you can see this compiler is showing some warning right and this warning seems very bad right so if you want to suppress this warning then you can uh, use add uh, suppress warning annotation and of course this uh, this annotation you can apply before a variable as well as before the method so if I apply here this also works cool now warning has gone away right and you can apply before the this uh, method call right and you do not see any compilation warning but still that will strike out because this is a deprecated method that's all about the uh, uh, at uh, suppress warning so if you want to suppress the warning which is a warning uh, shown by the compiler then you can use uh, deprecation now say uh, add, uh, depre uh, add suppress warning and here you will have to pass deprecation means deprecated warning i want to suppress you are saying now second example uh, which is in little more depth about the uh, suppress warning so here in this class you can see there are many warnings so first warning for deprecation second warning we are using raw data type right uh, we are not using any kind of generics and that's what uh, compiler is showing warning so suppose if you want to suppress warning then we can write deprecation before this line of code again here we are using a raw uh, array list we are not using generics then we can do something like this right still there is some warning right so you can add uh, one more uncheck don't check what whether i am using or uh, adding object or uh, raw or uh, primitive object right so uh, now here you have uh, one suppress warning we have applied before the method but uh, still there was some warning right regarding the deprecation and regarding the raw types so here if you look into the suppress warning so this is a uh, uh, a single value annotation because it contains a single method which which can hold the uh, 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 array of 
a string right and uh, that can be applied before the before the type field method parameter constructor or local variable and uh, this will uh, enforce at the source code itself right compiler will avoid so this will uh, enforce at the source level itself right so now uh, if you want to mention these three things in the uh, single notation then there is a one choice here you can uh, you can pass the array of a string because as we have seen in this annotation that can uh, accept uh, array of a string right so uh, so we don't want the three places at suppress warning these three things you can do in one annotation itself and here uh, you can supply the array of a string right and here I'm going to pass this raw types right and this is not required at all so I'm going to comment and I now you can see all uh, what, what I would say all the all warnings which was issued by the compiler has gone away right and code looks very neat and clean right so that's the use of sub at suppress warning and this is a single value annotation right so there are three types of annotation basically uh, marker annotation which which doesn't have any value which doesn't have any method then single value annotation which which has a single method only and third we have a multi value annotation which will accept the multiple which will hold which will have a multiple methods inside the annotation that also we will see in the future tutorial so that's all in previous video tutorial we have learned about the at override in this video tutorial we have learned about learned, learned about uh, at deprecated and at suppressed warnings annotation in java so guys that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed learning this video if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you next video tutorial